After his life was saved by a rogue Iraqi squadron, a young police officer joins them in their fight against ISIS in a decimated Mosul. Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. I am here today to give you all my thoughts on the new Netflix action war film Mosul, which will be premiering on Netflix November 26. I'm very excited to talk about this film and let you know if it's worth checking out in this non-spoiler review before we dive into the details as you can see on the screen now. Make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts. That way you all can stay up to date on what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and while you're at it, hit that notification bell. That way you all don't miss any of my other movie reviews, TV coverage, live streams, all the fun things we do on this channel. It would mean a lot to me if you all can share this video and give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And in the comments, let's discuss this film, Mosul. Let me know your pros, your cons, what did you think about about the action, what you think about the characters, what you think about the story. Let's talk everything in the comments below. So for those that aren't too familiar with the story, this film is loosely based on a 2017 New York article about the fight to defeat ISIS after it took control of the Iraqi city of Mosul. You have the producers of Joe and Anthony Russo, who I'm a big fan of their work, all the stuff they've done with Marvel, all the stuff they're starting to do away from Marvel, whether it be 21 Bridges. Uh, you had earlier this year with Extraction. They have a bunch of stuff coming out in the later years i just i'm just a big fan of their work and how they kind of choreograph action and the different stories they've been telling i'm a big fan of theirs and then you have first time director matthew michael carnahan who is the brother of joe carnahan and matthew's had his hands on a couple different projects whether it be 2007's kingdom 2013 world war z 2016 deep water horizon and then in the last few years you have dark waters and also 21 bridges so really good uh, writer when it comes to action and now he's given us his first time directing a movie behind the camera so what did I think about the film let's start off with the positives so definitely something I really appreciate about this film was it was so refreshing to see a Middle Eastern movie about war without the help of U.S. soldiers. You get to see the locals fighting this fight against ISIS. You get to learn their motives. You get to see why they want to see this city being rebuilt. And I love that we get that perspective of this type of film and not get the tropes, not get the U.S. soldier coming in and having the stories that we've seen a million times. It was great to get this kind of refreshing tale being backed by a studio like Netflix. So I really appreciate that. Which speaking of the local we got to talk about that team that we meet the elite squadron team they were so badass they had such great chemistry they knew how to clear a room they knew how to work together you got to understand what made them work what drove them to fighting this fight that literally at times seemed impossible how are they gonna get out of the situation they're just packed in there's guns there's explosives there's all this chaos going on but you get to see this team come together and just being such a badass and we'll talk about them a little bit later but it also brings me to the point of this film never gives you a chance to breathe. They give you like maybe like a minute or two to kind of catch your breath as we're watching the squadron kind of catch their breath, rehydrate, reload their ammo. But with it's in those moments that they're kind of having a moment to kind of breathe and kind of rehydrate and, and again, reload their guns. This is the moment that you get to kind of meet the characters, right? You get to understand their motives. You get to learn a little bit about the dynamic of this group and kind of what they're fighting for and what their mission's for. So I kind of love when we get those quieter moments because it helps you kind of build Build. who are these characters and why are we rooting for them? So it's within these quieter moments that you actually get to meet the characters. For example, the commander, Jasm, the brains of the operation, but also the heart of the team. I really enjoyed the performance from the actor, as well as just seeing the different layers from this character, whether it be his leadership skills, seeing his compassion for the kids they come across on the road that don't have parents, his negotiating skills, and of course, his amazing combat skills. I thought the character was really layered, and I enjoyed his performance in this role, as well as, it's just like little things within this character. Like, he would come across trash, and you would see the commander picking up trash and throwing away to, and to me doing little things like that meant like the character amongst all this chaos he wants to have some type of control so I really enjoyed Jasmine's performance I really enjoyed that character and all of the characters that we kind of get introduced to you don't really get to meet every single individual member within the squad but the people that we do get to spend some time with I thought they had a really good role I think of Kwani you know the newcomer to this group who is a police officer all of but two months when they meet him or when we meet him in the film and seeing his arc from when he meets the group he's kind of thrown into this crew they kind of introduce him to the situation 
And then when he first meets them, he's very suspicious of them. He doesn't know what they're about, what their motives are. He doesn't even know what their mission is. But as the film goes on and he gets into all these chaotic situations with them, he becomes to trust them. He becomes to be a part of the mission and he also becomes brothers in arms with them. So I really enjoyed the performances by all the characters that we meet within this film. So I definitely want to highlight the action, which I felt was incredibly well choreographed. And you get to see the strategic approach within each situation we see this crew in and the amount of trust that they had in each other. Whether it be the chaotic moments of not knowing where a sniper is to coming across a booby trap. This to me was top notch quality action. Again, the Rooster Brothers always kind of surround themselves with some really great action set pieces. And the action to me was phenomenal. And for my video game fans out there, this is Call of Duty Rainbow Six come to life. The action is incredible in this movie but I also want to lastly finish things off in my positives with highlighting the story to me this story has a lot of heart to it we learn of the mission and how important it is to this squad and seeing the damage done within this city and the families being torn apart the little kids dying was so incredibly sad to witness and knowing that this was based on true events makes all those moments that more impactful when you see it happen so I thought the story had a lot of heart to it so those are all my positives kind of transitioning here into my negatives I will say the first like 15 20 minutes or so wasn't as cohesive as the rest of the film again you're really literally thrown into the mix of the situation where we're seeing this gun shootout happen and you don't know who's who are this is a good guy this is a bad guy the acting wasn't as strong within the first half but as the film kind of goes on again the acting gets stronger the situation gets stronger you get to learn the characters more but I will say that first 15 minutes or so wasn't as strong as the rest of the film and then something minor here but I mentioned you get the to meet the commander you get to meet the newcomer and a couple other people within the squad but I would have liked to have met some other members just because once you learn the mission and see how important it is it would have been nice to kind of get some of the other stories and why they're fighting what their motives are again this film is only about an hour and a half so it goes by really quickly again like I said up top it doesn't let you breathe but I would have loved to have spent a little bit more time with the uh, some other members and kind of learn what they were about uh, because it makes the mission that more, more important and it really kind of hits home once you kind of learn what their actual mission is so again yeah those are my positives those are my negatives but before i give you all my overall thoughts give you my score let you know if it's worth checking out make sure if you haven't already to give this video a thumbs up share this video leave your thoughts in the comments below and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my other content with that being said let me share with you all my overall thoughts so overall, this film based on a true story showing the bravery of this team set in the Iraq war with an all Middle Eastern cast is one of the best war films this year. Matthew Michael Carnahan directorial debut was very impressive. The cast really had a great chemistry led by Suel Dybach and Adam Besta found this film to be extremely powerful and what a great tribute to a good group of men who were affected by this ongoing war but refused to surrender. I'm going to give Mosul a 4 out of 5. I definitely recommend you all check it out because again to me this is one of the best war films this year. So when you get a chance to check it out let me know your thoughts, your pros, your cons, what you think about the story, the characters and let's have a great discussion about it in the comments below. As always make sure to like, share, comment your thoughts in the comment section, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell so you you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you in the next video.